Well, this morning we're answering some of your questions about the travel disruptions. Captain Laura, Laura Einsettler is a commercial airline pilot with more than 30 years experience. Good to see you again. I know that uh, some airlines admit the biggest issue besides the weather has been staffing shortages. So what's the full laundry list of causes for all of these delays and cancellations? Well, it's a combination of all different things. So summertime travel always can be a bit challenging when you have the summer weather uh, right now because we're trying to pull out of this pandemic and we do we are seeing some of the effects from the pandemic and we're trying to rebound from that right now. So with the staff shortages, we're doing the best that we can to fly extra, fly our days off, cancel our own vacations and just bring as much of the staff back and hire as much as we can. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, who Dre uh, mentioned, actually tweeting out uh, that passengers are entitled to cash refunds for canceled flights. Uh, he's threatening heavy fines for airlines that don't protect customers. One of our viewers, Kim Karstetter in Dallas, had a question about that. So let's listen. It seems that Pete Buttigieg is wagging his finger at the airline industry for the travel delays without acknowledging that at least one root cause is the vaccine mandate. Is there any appetite to lift the vaccine mandate at the federal level for aviation employees? Good question. Well, I absolutely agree. That is something that has hurt us, actually. So I know that the intention was to best protect everybody, the traveling passengers and the uh, airline employees. But we did lose a certain percentage of those very skilled, very experienced workers uh, through the mandate of getting vaxxed or getting fired. So we need to lift that, bring those workers back, get them back in their seat position so uh, they can be of service to the industry. Especially as times are changing and uh, the situation regarding the pandemic has clearly improved. Let's get another question from our viewer, Kim. It seems that some airlines are reducing the requirements for pilots, such as training and education requirements, but not offering any exemptions for vaccines, such as medical or re religious exemptions. Um, why is that? It seems that training and education would be more important than vaccine status at this point. Training and education absolutely are because you want to have the most experienced, well-trained, well-rested, healthy pilots at your controls so that there's no uh, chance of kind of uh, mitigating or affecting safety. That is our number one priority. So we need to absolutely keep those requirements and uh, those restrictions in place so that we can meet those and be best serving the public that way. I, I am being told by my producers that we're out of time, but I have to follow up with one uh, question. Basic on all of this information, do you think we're out of the worst of the delays and cancellations? Has the situation improved or will we see another series of cancellations heading towards the end of the summer into the fall? I think with the weather, it might play a factor, but as we're uh, planning better, more strategic and being able to do things about being a little more proactive with the resources that we do have, then you'll just continue to see improvements that way. Okay. Another sign of optimism, Captain Laura <laughs> Einsettler. Thank you, as always. Anytime we can smile for any reason right now, I'm for it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thanks for asking uh, those questions, Kim. Uh, Kim in Dallas. You can send us your questions at newsnationnow.com slash answers for America, and we will get those questions answered live on our air. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.